Hi, we are presenting our work, Multiview and Multiperson 3D Post Estimation with Plane Sweep Stereo. My name is Lin Jiahao, and this is the joint work with Dr. Li Gim He. Existing approaches for Multiview and Multiperson 3D Post Estimation can be divided into two categories. Most of the approaches explicitly establish cross-view correspondences to group 2D post detections from multiple camera views and so for the 3D post estimation for each person subsequently. Such two-stage pipeline heavily relies on the accuracy of the cross-view matching results. When recent work, Voxel Post proposes to jointly solve the cross-view matching and 3D post estimation in a 3D object detection fashion. The method avoids the explicit cross-view matching step, thus effectively reduces the impact from incorrectly established 2D post correspondences. However, the 3D convolutions on the volumetric space is inherently expensive, which limits the scalability of the approach to larger scenes. In this work, we present our method based on the plane sweep algorithm for multi-view, multi-person 3D post estimation. Our approach avoids the explicit cross-view matching step and aggregates multiple views for 3D post estimation in a single shot. Given independently detected 2D poses for each camera view, we perform depth regression for each candidate 2D post under a target camera view, utilizing 2D post detections from reference views. Specifically, each candidate 2D post is back projected to successive depth planes, and the cross view consistency with 2D poses in reference views is measured to form a score matrix which facilitates accurate depth regression. We adopt a cost to find paradigm to regress the person level depths first and the joint level depths subsequently. 3D poses can then be obtained via a back projection with the estimated depths. We utilize the plane sweep algorithm to aggregate multiple view information for depth regression. We define a set of equally spaced virtual depth planes in a target camera view. Each candidate 2D post in the target view is back projected to one of the virtual depth planes and subsequently projected to each reference view. The resulting 2D post projection is matched to the nearest 2D post detection in each particular reference view, and a cross-view consistency score is computed accordingly based on the alignment of the two poses. We repeat this process to generate a score matrix over all depth planes. We utilize a 1D convolutional neural network with residual links to map the score matrix to a depth vector representing the probability distribution of the depths to be regressed. The depth vector is further transformed to the estimated scalar depth value via a soft argmax operation. We propose a local soft argmax operator to deal with multimodal distributions, which are commonly observed in multi-person scenarios when people are close to each other. Specifically, a window of fixed size slides over the depth vector to search for the window with the highest response, and we apply the standard soft argmax on the window to produce the scalar depths. We adopt a cost-to-find paradigm to regress the person-level depths first, followed by a per-person joint-level depths regression. The process of the score matrix aggregation and the depths regression via 1DCN are similar in both stages, except that first, the depths planes in the person-level stage are equally spaced over the entire 3D scene, while the depths planes in the joint-level stage only cover a local region surrounding the estimated person-level depths. Second, in the person level stage, only the depth of the entire person is regressed, while in the joint level stage, we regress the relative depths for all the joints with respect to the absolute person level depths. And third, we add diluted convolutions in the network for joint level depth regression to increase the receptive fields, since the body joints span a larger range of depths in this stage. We conduct experiments on benchmark datasets, including the campus and the shelf datasets, as well as the CMU panoptic dataset. Our method achieves state-of-the-art performance and is remarkably faster compared to the voxel-based method. Our source code is publicly available. Please check out our webpage for more details. Thank you.